in the Welland Valley today. It's Sunday the 3rd. In fact, I hope it's the 3rd. It's either the 3rd or the 4th of February. It's an absolutely beautiful day. The birds are singing, getting ready for the spring mating season. The snowdrops are out in the wooded areas. And I'm in the village of Ashley. I'm hoping to cycle round three villages this morning and um, hope that you're going to come along and join me. I'm sure you are. We're in the village of Ashley looking at a very nice lich gate. The entrance to the church which is in Hall Lane. And that is Main Street. We're just going to pop round Hall Lane because I think this is an old school building right opposite the church. Just another view of the church. Lovely, stands out beautiful against the clear blue sky. I've just come round Hall Lane into the main street through the village. A lovely building there, look at that. Quite quiet. Not a lot of traffic, which is uh, something we don't want anyway, do we? And then we swing right round to the George Inn. And that's looking down towards Corby. Well, the date on those properties is 1861. So, uh, just swing round now, because we're going to go up here and uh, out past the church to the main road. And we've got some doggies there, look. They're wagging their tails so they're not vicious. Well, before we go out of the village to find the next village, I uh, just found this little street down here, which is rather nice. That's the old bake house. It's rather nice nice little cul-de-sac with a village green even the frost still on the road here look where the sun hasn't got at it old metal roof there on that cottage isn't that lovely It's a beautiful way to see the villages and countryside, you know, on a bicycle. You just can't beat it. A little bit frosty this morning. Look at that lovely property there. Turn the corner here and we're facing the church again. Good morning. So join me again in a little while when we get out in the country. Right, so we're on the B-class road, a secondary main road, which I think could be a bit busy. There's Ashley Church, and we're going to do a circular. Well, we shall land up by coming up that road from the village that's down there in the valley. 
As I said, this is all the Wellham Valley. So we'll be right across there somewhere because this road here goes along to, I think it's Medbourne and then when we get to that village we're going to turn right and go across the countryside way over there, turn right again and then come back down there to that village and then come right again and come back up here and um, before you know where we are well in a couple of hours we should be back at the church okay let's go then well here we are not far down the road the village of Weston by Welland and as we left one church in Ashley we meet another one here in Weston and of course Welland means the River Welland which runs all the way through the Welland Valley and uh, we shall be crossing that it won't be very wide here but there should be a reasonable amount of water in it oh I've just spied a beautiful chimney stack Can you see that up there wow See if I can just um, zoom in on it a little bit. Beautiful, I can just hear a train honking as well. It must be not that far from Market Harbour, about four and a half miles from Market Harbour. Another lich gate here, or lich gate. Never get it right, I don't. Couple more chaps out for a cycle ride. Quite a busy signpost here. <laughs> so we're going to the right here, which is um, Wellham, and we shall join this road when we've done our square of riding which like I said earlier we're going to take all right turns to take us back to where we began lovely so quiet and peaceful just outside the village we're looking back towards the church behind the tree there you wouldn't see that in the summer because of all the leaves on the trees you wouldn't even know there was a church there and uh, the only pub that I've seen is this one uh, which is the wheel and compass but I guess I would say that was once a two-story building and looking across the Wellham Valley there and we're actually going down there I was thinking that we were going to Wellham but we're not we're going to Slawston I think it is <laughs> which is down there and across that way somewhere but this is the road actually out to Wellham so Slawston is two we've already done two miles uh, so we'll get back on the bike shall we oh I do like to be out in the country Riding down narrow country lanes With the birds all singing Waiting for the spring When it arrives we'll be full of zing 
I make all these up as I'm going along, you know. This will actually lead us down and across the River Welland. But when we're talking about a river, uh, I think we'll find it's more like a brook. But of course, as it gets closer and closer towards the coast, it gets wider and wider and does actually become quite a decent sized river. You can always tell where last year's birds have been nesting, you know. Once all the leaves are off the trees, there you go, look. Now I wonder what nest that was, or what bird built it, I should say. This is lovely riding along here and around here because it's all flat. And I can see some uh, brick parapets coming up. I imagine this so-called river will be about six foot wide, if that. But it runs out through the village of Blatherwick where there's a huge lake which my father uh, dredged in about 19, I don't know, 1930, in the 1930s. Well, I can hear rushing water anyway. Oh, it's wider than what I thought. It's only a couple of weeks ago when we had a lot of rain that it's just I've just realised that this river actually came up to the very top of its banks probably actually rose above the banks because look at all this debris up here this is all what I call river wash so it must have come up and flooded into this dike there's a lot of dikes coming from around the farm fields that all uh, put water into this river so yes it would it had been right up the banks Amazing, isn't it? And then how quick it subsides again. Well, a couple of weeks ago, there's no way we would have been standing here. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice uh, brick arched bridge. This is looking at the other side of the bridge. Lovely, nice little weir there. And you can see where the water has been right up here, look, and washed all this debris up on the river bank. But that's lovely. I love the sound of uh, rushing water over a weir. Beautiful. Well, it looks quite misty down there, doesn't it? But I believe that's someone on horseback coming up the road. I'm still standing on the river bridge. It's quite obvious that the sun hasn't got to these little puddles yet. <laughs> We've still got uh, ice on them, look at that. Lovely patterns you get, don't you? But what's caused me to stop here was the fact that I've just spotted a three-arched bridge. And I reckon that that 
is the site of the railway that ran from Market Harbour out to uh, Seaton and across the Wellham Valley. That's what I reckon anyway. And actually the nearest station was Caldicott. And just up there is another two arched bridge. So maybe when we get further down this road we'll be able to stop and do a little bit of investigation. Well there you go. I now know that that was the site of the old railway so we're going to go down there following the horse and um, <laughs> uh, investigate shall we? Just across the field, but we're not going across the field, it's a bit muddy I think. <laughs> well this quite surprises me that the railway is running on an embankment because the valley is quite flat most of the way along between Market Arbour and uh, of course this railway went um, underneath the 70 some odd arch viaduct at Harringworth sometimes called the Harringworth viaduct sometimes called the Welland viaduct but you can see I just go round the corner here you can see that this has got on quite a high embankment ah now I'm coming round the corner I can see the reason why there's that lady on the horse uh, just disappearing up there so that would have been oh, oh nearly fell off the bike sorry for the camera shake um, that would have been a bridge over there a farm track you can see the walled par parapets there's a grouse making a noise there or a pheasant and of course the embankment goes right along there and you can see why now because uh, of the hills I was just thinking as I moved along a bit farther what a wonderful sight it would have been for the railway enthusiast to film a train coming along there on that embankment no trees blocking the view absolutely brilliant and those sheep would have been running a mile with the sound of a big hissing steam engine. Of course in those days there weren't any video cameras, there was just the little 8mm cine. But a lot of people took cine film of scenes like this and we can now see it on the old nostalgic programs on the television. This is where our road goes round a zigzag bend under what used to be a railway bridge and it looks as if it's wide enough to have been a double track. Well I was hoping to walk along some of the track bed but I don't think so. <laughs> Look at the state of this but um, you can see where the track bed was and that is looking down there uh, towards that bridge well the missing bridge I should say and we've got a friend coming here look hello hello mate what's up Oh, if a steam train went by now, what a beautiful, picturesque thing that would be. Well, this is most unusual. Uh, horses normally come to a fence when there's visitors, but this one's not. I don't know whether he's going there, whether there's drinking water in there. If there is, I should imagine there's ice over it.
You have to bang your head against the ice, mate. Okay, well we've got a bit of a climb now. Up there. Uh, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of this railway because when we get to the end of this road we've got to turn right again. So we'll either go over or under the railway. We've just come up the top of the hill now and we come to the crossroads. There's a field road there to Hallerton, Weston, Wellham, Slawston, which is three quarters, which we probably could go up and have a look at Slawston. Um, it's one mile to Medbourne, that's where we're going. Um, it's only, only take us a mile and a half. We could go up the road and have a look, which is up that way. Um, probably got to go down a steep hill though into the valley. No, I think we'll leave that for another time. We don't want to overdo it, do we? And uh, turning right, of course, we've got to cross that railway again. And there you can see the bridge. I've got the camera resting on the bridge parapet. And you're looking there at the barn and that little bit of field where the horsey was. So you can see that we have come up quite a reasonable hill to get here up on the bridge and that is looking towards Market Harbour. So we'll take the camera over the other side and I think we could be in for a bit of a surprise here because there's a lake. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There'd be no trains running along there today. God. That is looking towards uh, Peterborough, Wandsford. Um, one day, I suppose, if they were really got billions of pounds to spend, they could extend the Wandsford steam railway right along here. But you, along there, if you kept going far enough, you'd come to the Harringworth Viaduct and the Wandsford Steam Railway in Peterborough. It's a lovely day to be in the Welland Valley. Beautiful views. Quite clear now. I should imagine, I haven't really got a clue what the time is, I should imagine it's about half eleven. But that's the village that we're going to down there. And then once we get there, we'll have a little ride around the village, and then turn to the right, go back across another bridge over the Welland River, and back to Ashley where we started. So, our last junction really we'll be uh, going down to have a look at the little village there of Medbourne which is in the little valley and uh, then turning round coming back coming back up this gradient and back up there to Ashley <coughs> this visit village He's just off the main road. You got a couple of guard dogs there. It sounds like a big lorry behind. Oh no! Here's a tracker. There's a track there full of horse muck. Oh, and it doesn't half stink as well. <laughs> nice cottages here. And the church. And there's a little river there, or brook. The road goes over. And I think you have to go over a bridge to get into the church as well.
Well, I've got to say that this really is a lovely setting. Absolutely beautiful this is. When the river comes up high, this of course becomes a ford. Snowdrops are all out on the riverbank. I'll show you those in a few moments. Absolutely beautiful. A lovely reflection of the bridge in the water there. <laughs> water looks good enough to drink, doesn't it? Hey. Flowers, berries, and just beyond the fence there, so snowdrops. Standing on top of the footbridge now, which leads you to the church. The Horse and Trumpet Pub, another three-storey building. The Neville Arms, that's an unusual name. And there's a nice birdhouse there on the front. And uh, just beyond the wall, that is the pub over there. And uh, just up here we have the school. Unfortunately I can't see any date on the school, but it's not even a school now. It is the village hall. And next to it, what I can only imagine was once the schoolhouse is now a private dwelling. Done a little circular tour uh, and arrived back at the church. And as you can see in the foreground, the daffodils are just, well, they're in bud. Uh, this is the 3rd or 4th of February. And um, they're just sitting there, they're just waiting to come forth. As promised, another look at the River Welland, but it's a job to believe. Remember in the last shots when we filmed it, where we got the water running over that little uh, weir? Um, this just looks like a little tiddling farm brook now. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? But it, it looks running quite fast. 
It's still difficult to imagine, you know, that the water came right up the river banks there. But there we go, if that's the River Welland, that's the River Welland. You see, the thing is, that was not the River Welland. <laughs> it was indeed a farm brook. Because here's the River Welland, half a mile down the road. Leaving Leicestershire, it's part of the border line between Leicestershire and Northamptonshire. I thought the view of the river and the weir and the bridge would end today's filming but just up from the river I've spotted two things one of them is that balloon getting ready for takeoff and the other is when I just zoom out is the fact that here right where I'm standing and once once upon a time crossing this road is another railway track bed now I am now completely confused. That is looking in the other direction towards Market Harbour, so that must have joined up with that other railway that we were filming earlier on this morning. And this is Ashley Station House. And that would have been the platform. What a lovely surprise to end today's cycling. That's it, another cycle ride over. <laughs> Three villages down the river. Lovely village uh, at um, Medbourne. Beautiful with that stream running through it. And we found the railway. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you again. Bye. Yeah.